designed to meet the needs of the staff. It's also designed as a showcase for our products. All of the products in there are from Flowcre and from our associated companies and also designed to meet the needs of the planet. There are the reflective floors that reduce the need for the lighting. We've used recycled materials wherever we can. The other uh, main priority was to uh, lower the carbon footprint for the uh, site. Uh, we've managed to get a reduction of 93% uh, in our carbon footprint compared to the old offices. Our main challenge here was to turn an old building into an energy efficient building. We did this by incorporating our ISO warm underfloor heating, putting a green roof on, using solar glazing panels and upgrading the fabric of the building to make it as energy efficient as possible. It looks fantastic uh, architecturally. Um, one of the biggest challenges was the, the large circular window uh, and that was a, a particularly proud achievement. The finished developments turned out really well, we're really proud of it so I think uh, it's got a, a, a strong presence. I think it's sort of uh, lived up to the vision. I suppose one has a picture in your mind when you're designing something and uh, it's very pleasing to come and see that uh, picture come to life. We were fortunate enough to win the Queen's Award for Enterprise last year and it, this today has been a fantastic way to celebrate that achievement. The building today just represents really a lot of the achievements of Flowcrete. Obviously the environmental aspect is a big sell that we're talking to architects throughout Europe and, and it's also it's a reward for all the hard work the staff that have been here for the last 20 years plus and now having a wonderful offices to work in and somewhere where we can bring visitors, we can bring architects to really show off the values of the company.